So this actually exists. It's something you've never heard of. And I'm driving today to a beach to make some videos for my other YouTube channel. And I thought I would just make this quick video while driving. I gotta be careful here because I'm traveling and I'm in the middle of nowhere to talk about something that is really cool and can actually help you learn mathematics. So if you go to college and you're at a university, so this, this unfortunately only applies to people at university. So if you're in a community college, they might not have this, but, but you can still probably get in your car and drive to your local university and participate in this because they probably have it. So if you have a university near you and you're in the US um, or England and maybe other countries too, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe if, if, if this exists where you live, leave a comment. And this is a tradition that I believe was started in England because a lot of mathematics comes from England. Okay, there's a lot of math from England, a lot of famous mathematicians, you know, Hardy and stuff. And, you know, Cambridge is there. Just check my directions here. <clears throat> and so it's tea time, tea time. Math departments have this tradition where either once a week or once a month or perhaps even every single day, I actually went to a school for part of my educational career where they had tea time every day. And then I went to another school where they had tea time once a week. So I went to two different schools and they both had tea time. I went to more than two schools, but those two schools both had tea time. And one of them had it once a week and one of them had it every day. So you might say, wow, that's pretty cool. What is tea time? So tea time is basically where all the math professors and perhaps some of the people who work in the math, fa fac uh, math building, like the secretaries and some of the tutors, maybe other people involved in the math department, get together and socialize and drink tea. Now, when I first heard about tea time, I was really excited. I was, I was so happy because you know me, I, I collect math books and I have all of Hardy's books. And I'm like, I, I, I would love to visit other math departments uh, and, and visit their tea times. And I think it might be something I'm gonna do. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm so excited about tea time. So I was expecting like, you know, we're gonna have this really fancy tea, it's tea time. No, no, no. All the tea times I've been to have had, this car is really like right behind me, have had uh, really, really bad, not bad, but um, like pretty inexpensive tea. I'm gonna put my emergency lights on, let them pass me. So it's not like you're getting, it's not like you're getting, um, you know, super high quality tea here. You're getting like just budget level tea that you get at Walmart. So don't expect the best. But, but the good thing about tea time is that when you go to these, you get to meet your professors in a very relaxed setting, right? You're not, you're not there. It's not their office hours, you know? The professors are there hanging out. So you're there to, to basically hang out with the professors. So you're, you're, you're talking to your professors on a different level. And I think for me personally, I've never had that problem. You know, when a student comes to my office, it's cool. What's up, man? Or if it's a girl, what's up? You know, we just, we talk, we hang out, we do math. It's cool. I understand, you know, it's very relaxed. Not everyone is like that. Some professors, are not like that and they get nervous when you come to, they, they might get nervous when you go to their office. You think you're nervous going to see the professor. People are different, professors are just people. Some professors are very shy, some professors get nervous uh, when, you, when you come to their office. You know, it's like, oh, this is my job, I don't wanna say the wrong thing, etc. cetera. So when you, when you approach them at tea time, you're able to have conversations about math and other things in, in a more relaxed setting. And I think that is a good thing. You also get to meet other professors there. So you get to learn about other things in the math department at your school, learn about other professors. You also get to meet graduate students. A lot of times the tea time will take place in what's called 
the Graduate Student Lounge. So this is a place where like all the grad students go and they hang out and they do homework. And I, I've hung out in multiple Graduate Student Lounges, <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. And uh, I've had some good experiences there, right? Grad school is fun. It's, it's a trip. It's, it's, it's a good experience. I recommend it for everyone. It's an unforgettable life experience. So the university, the, the university experience is a good one. So go to tea time. I think it's something that's shocking and I don't think that other fields have it. So, and if you're watching this video and you're in another field, I'm curious, you know, do you have this in, uh, I don't think computer science has tea time or physics. It's really a math thing. Math is, it's beautiful. If you think about the world today, it's all about the internet. It's all about AI and tech and but mathematics is in some sense the purest of of the sciences and it has old traditions right i mean computer science is relatively new but physics and math these are old old things that have been out for a long time and tea time is one of those old storied traditions. I should look it up. I, I know I looked it up once. And I think there's an article on Wikipedia about it. I should do some research on it. But the point is you can use tea time today to change your life today by interacting with professors at your school, by interacting with graduate students. And man, sometimes, sometimes you learn math at these tea times because there's a board usually in there. And you can ask questions. Remember, the professors are there to hang out. They're there to relax. They're not there to tutor you. You don't, don't go to tea time. You know, hey, professor, can you help me with this homework problem? Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I, I'd recommend against that. I don't think that's good. I mean, the professor is probably going to be happy to see you and they'll help you. That's great. But maybe go there and just mingle, talk, socialize, talk. You can talk about math. You can ask simple questions, but don't, don't go there expecting like, you know, a full on a full on tutoring session because that's not what tea time is about, right? Tea time is about getting together, exchanging ideas, having a time at the end of the day where you can relax. The times vary, by the way, usually tea time is in the afternoon, like two, three, four, five o'clock. And again, the frequency varies. It'll depend on your university. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. If you have tea time at your school, uh, what's it like? Let me know, leave a comment. Hopefully my mic is working. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. And I have other channels, Math Sorcerer Espanol and The Internet Sorcerer. That's where I'm driving today. I'm driving far to make some content for uh, my other YouTube channel. So I thought, well, let me squeeze in a video here for this channel to talk about tea time because I was thinking about tea time and how cool it is. So, <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, check it out. I think it'll make a difference in your math. Um, it'll help you in your life. You'll meet people you haven't met. It, it'll be a good experience for you. I mean, I, I have a hard time believing it's going to be a bad one, you know. So go to tea time. Make the best of it. If you want to learn math, check out my courses too. Uh, they're on Udemy. But if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com because one, it helps me, and two, I've lowered the prices. So yeah, check them out. Hopefully it's been helpful, and I think tea time can make a difference in math and in your life. Keep doing mathematics.